Hi everyone and welcome to the 5 Minute Business Boost. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about how to use invoices and email signatures to boost your small business marketing. Invoices and email signatures, I think, are two of the most overlooked marketing opportunities for small businesses, but they can be incredibly effective if used correctly. Invoices are a great way to promote your business to your customers. You can include your logo, website address, social media handles. You can also use them to promote special offers or discount. Email signatures, on the other hand, are also a great way to promote your business. You can include your logo, website address, social media handles in your email signature. You can also use it to promote blog posts, white papers, or other content that you've created. In addition to promoting your business, your business or businesses, invoices and email signatures can also be used to collect feedback from your customers. You can include a survey link in your invoice or email signature, and this is a great way to get feedback on your products or services, and it can help you to prove your business. So here's some other ideas around using them to promote happenings, causes, or an event. With your invoices, you can promote a special event or happening that your business is sponsoring. So this could be anything. Let's imagine you're a restaurant. You could include a flyer for local music festival on your invoices or a link. You can also use invoices to promote that cause that your business might support. So it's a charity or it's a, a local initiative that you really believe in and either donate with time or money. Email signatures. So you can use these little buggers to promote a happening or event that your business is hosting. So for example, I could be putting on the bottom of mine regarding my workshop series that I've been working on. Why haven't I done that? on the job list. You can also use email signatures to promote a cause that your business supports. For example, you can set a link to a volunteer program that you're um, working with or a charity that you're working with. See how there's a common theme there about using linkages both in signatures and invoices. But you must keep your messaging clear and concise. You don't want to overwhelm your customers with too much information. Some email signatures I see go on for kilometres. And whilst it's pretty good to look through, you often glaze over after a little while. Try to use eye-catching visuals. Your logo, your website and social media handles should be easy to see and remember. Think about colours and themes and so forth. Don't forget your style guides. So make it easy for your customers to act. You can include a call to action, such as a link to your website or a survey. For me personally, for my businesses, we use wisestamp.com. And I liked this because it's seamlessly integrated into my signatures. We use, I think, Outlook and 365, and it just worked beautifully. I have seen and have used Canva also, um, and apps such as Gimeo, My Signature, or Signature Hound. But if you find one that works really well for me, please let me know because clients ask all the time about this. So don't forget that you can use these invoices and email signatures to effectively promote your business, collect feedback from your customers and promote, promote an event or happening. So that's it for me today. Thanks for listening to the 5-Minute Business Boost. For more information, follow me on social media, sign up for the 5-Minute Business Boost newsletter, check out my range of workshops, plug, 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 that I'm offering between July and September. And I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out or leave a comment. And until next time, keep boosting your business. And remember, anything is possible, especially in the gorgeous northeast of Victoria and beyond. Have a great day. Toodles.